We're running. Where's the button? Where's the button? Oh my gosh. Just wasn't there. They didn't run in, thankfully. Thomas? Thomas? My uncle Abraham might be on the second floor now. Do you know where he is? No. But I heard somebody crashing around a few moments ago from somewhere below me. How do I get to you? There is a way up to the attic through my father's rooms in the west wing. You should be able to reach me that way. West wing. All right. I'll be careful. My uncle was not a man to be trifled with before. And now, I am not sure he's a man at all. He's a brute, Thomas. I pray you be careful. All right. I can't wait for him. Please take care, Thomas. To scare the shit out of me. Nice. Alright, we have a locked door. Seems odd to have a fountain there, but what do I know? And we have blood. A blood trail. My Elizabeth. Although I am writing this with a heavy heart, knowing that we have little time left together, please know that I cherish and love you dearly. There is so much more I should have told you. This house and the watery depths by which it dwells are full of secrets, many too terrible to be told, and I fear that I was complicit in them. I was a young girl swept up in her fascination and adoration of your grandfather and father's hubris. By the promise of power and fame their discoveries afforded. If there is justice in this earthly realm, as they say there is in the hereafter to come, I am paying the price I owe. My fervent wish is that you shall not pay for my sins too. There is so much more I should have done. My greatest regret is not having the strength to leave Scare Hotel, to have not taken you away from this place, to have been so thoroughly caught up in its spell. It is a mistake I do not wish you to repeat. Leave this place, do not look back, do not get seduced by its honeyed song. My darling daughter, please do not weep for me, but know that I love you with all my heart and soul. My eternal love, Prudence. Mama don't want her daughter to follow in her footsteps. Um, I guess I'll go left first, because I think that's a map. Barricaded, but I didn't trust it. I can tell you that much. Hi. What? Why did we get creepy music? I'm not sure what caused that to happen, but the ambient noises changed. We got music. Stop! Uh, 
he sounds huge. Again, I did it. I jump and <laughs> freaking hit Q. I need to change that. My goodness. <sighs> yeah, he big AF. can go down there. I got the key to open that if I want to backtrack quick. I have a feeling that's only going to be for a music doll. Uh, creepy noises. Murderer. Alright. Let's go. Go this way first. Swogan. Sleep child upon my bosom, it is cozy and warm. Mother's arms are tight around you. A mother's love is in my breast. Nothing shall disturb your slumber. Nobody will do you harm. Sleep in peace, dear child. Sleep quietly on your mother's breast. Sleep peacefully tonight. Sleep gently, sleep. My lovely, why are you now smiling? Smiling gently in your sleep. Are angels above smiling on you as you smile cheerfully? Smiling back and sleeping. Sleeping quietly on my breast. Do not fear, it is nothing but a leaf. Beating, beating on the door. Do not fear. Only a small wave murmurs, murmurs on the seashore. Sleep, child. There's nothing here. Nothing to give you fright. Smile quietly in my bosom on the blessed angels yonder. How many was that? Eleven. I know where twelve is. She's in the attic. It's a nice bedroom. My refusal to sing has frustrated my father, but it has only delayed his plans. Playing the recordings of that creature's song via one of his mechanisms consumes him now. There must be some means to counteract it. To dull or cancel its influence, some melody or song that can act as a counterpoint, as a counter to it. I will need help, but how to go about it? The risk of the song getting out is too great. Perhaps if I were to split it into pieces, the same as my father has done with his recordings, and approach four different composers, each with a part. But who to ask? My dearest Thomas, of course, but who else? Thomas Evans, Matilda Norton, Arthur Morris, Henry Hughes. Tick, tock, tick, tock. All right, what's behind door number one? Nada? Really nothing? Was there any usefulness? Save point. Goody goody. It's creepy. <clears throat> Time has run out. Father intends to use his grand harmonium, the machine he has devised tonight, to use the recorded song of that lamentable creature on the household and staff. A dress rehearsal for his grand reopening. One final test before. <sighs> Oh, I'm not ready. I've tried to compose it myself. Tried until my fingers bled on the keys and my voice cracked. 
But at last, two composers of the countersong have arrived at the hotel. I must speak with them before the dress rehearsal. I can only pray that this will be enough. I could leave still, slip away. I've thought about it again and again in recent days, but that would only be condemning the others to my father's experiments. No. I must face our family's sins. And if I must, I shall pay the price. Oh, I wish it were not so. I wish I did not have to face this alone, as I fear my strength and resolve might fail. Thomas, where are you? I need you now more than ever, my love. I'm here. I'm here. I do wonder if they work against the big dude. That's where the music. Okay, so straight ahead where the, the sign said murderer or the painting. Which way do we want to go? Oh, I didn't notice that. Creeping noises. All right, we're going back real quick. I, s I missed that. Yeah, yeah. Gotta go back to this door first. Totally missed it. That. That's where the cylinder is. I think that stairs, maybe, or another elevator, or oh, that that might be a way to the attic. <coughs> Gonna go left first. I don't think that did anything. I thought I had the key. Did I totally miss that he grabbed the key when he punched through the wall? <laughs> yeah, he, he seems to know where I am at all times. another thing down there so I think we gotta make a run for it or we go straight 
Okay. It seems like he just knows where I am at all times. Absolutely, he knows where I am. He has to go all the way around. Just gotta go down, probably. I already forgot where I need to be. <laughs> I got it, whatever it was. Oh, it's unlocked. I only panicked a little bit. So he's gone. Go, 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 go. Is this one open too? Nice. My dearest Elizabeth, I have received your letter and my heart is filled with concern at your words. To hear that you suffer at the hands of your father and that he has confined you to Scare Hotel is more than I can bear. I shall, I shall however, respect your wishes and set all mind and talent to completing the task you have set in composing this piece for you. I'll work day and night and when I am finished shall board the fastest train to you, my darling. Yours always, Thomas. All right. We don't have the key. Which is what I am confused about now. Because I thought we grabbed the key.
All right, Papa, coming back up. I don't know why I wasted that time. I run down that way. I'm gonna get trapped. Like, I know it makes sense that he punched in and grabbed it, but. Can he even fit through this door? Now I don't now I don't know where to go. Maybe there's something in here. Will he come this way? Yeah, now that he knows where I am. What am I supposed to do? It's the question. Like, he took the key. Did I just make a mistake by saving? Okay. <laughs> I need to go back and rewatch that. That's blowing my mind. I swear. I picked it up. Did I just jump so much I didn't <laughs> see him take it out of my hand? Like, what happened?
Alright, well, I'm gonna... See if it's hanging off of or something, I could grab it. <laughs> oh, shit. I just, I don't understand. Uh, oh. Okay. Just run straight across. How did I miss that? I just feel silly. <laughs> Hi. Anything in here? Straight ahead or to the left? Oh, hi. Is that a harp key? Coming back. Is it just on the other side, perhaps? No, oh, it's a skull key. What is this? It's a phone. I'm gonna get scared again with the gun. Oh, shit. Let's have to. Wait, 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 why did I do that? No, 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 no. <laughs> why did I unlock that? Why are you ringing? Are you done? What? Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> I thought you were. Something just. What was that? Elizabeth, your uncle, he wouldn't stop. Wait, I thought I heard something here. 
hit the doggo. What is it, Elizabeth? Somebody is trying to talk, Thomas. I must go. No, no, stop, stop. Let go of me. Let me go. You get off. <laughs> Just sing. Can you sing? So I'm an idiot. He did grab the bird key. Honestly, not sure how I totally missed that. I don't trust you. Did we get locked in here? What? Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. He's alive! Welcome back. Welcome back. Dressing me out. All right, now we just got to get over there. He's clearly up and walking around, so he's not on the ground over there now. a baby <laughs> let's go back up what should I just I could do that run straight through Sounds like he's over here, though. I wonder if he can walk through here. So close. That's all I gotta do is get right there. I would like for you to go back though. These guys can't see shit, but Abraham, somehow he can see. He's right there.
I think I just need to make a run for it. I think he's on the other side. Get me out of here. I didn't even check if there was anything in that room worth grabbing. <laughs> I panicked too much. One. What the fuck is that noise? Here, doggo. One, Do I go fish. I am stressed. The fact that I can still hear him walking around down there. What is that growl? October 23rd, 1897. I have locked myself in the attic and barricaded the door. The grand harmonium does not seem to have effect afflicted me like the others. This all began with that creature sequestered beneath Scare Point. It has to be free, preventing it from harming anyone else. I must ensure I can get to the cavern safely without what without what were my father and his men from finding me. They are not sane men anymore. Oh. Don't look at me, monster. This is gonna scare me. dare you I'm back in the basement well I gotta use the harp key I think oh 
Elizabeth's Diary Entry Number 3, October 24th, 1897. I took a chance leaving the safety of the attic today. I had discovered my father has been again doing unspeakable things, burning men's faces with no reasoning for it. I hear Uncle beneath these floorboards, wandering the halls, searching for me. He has become a mindless giant. They have both sunk deeper into madness, wearing their horrid ritual masks. It frightens me. Some guests have arrived early for the grand reopening. I tried to warn them, but my father and uncle forced this madness upon them. These poor people are now just as monstrous as my family. It's too horrible to describe. Oh, that's the furnace on the other side. I got it. Alright, alright, alright. I lost my music box. done. I have managed to make phonograph copies of three of my father's four cylinders. Three parts of the siren song. The fourth, I've come to realize, is the very same tune as the musical locket that you always wore, mother. The very one which I was so fascinated with as a child. Even as an infant, were you grooming me to take your place as my father now commands? Whatever the truth of your misdeeds, Mother, I want you to know that I've arranged for these fragments of the siren song to be dispatched to four composers. Your locket to go to my dearest Thomas. With his help and theirs, we shall come up with a means to counter the power of the song my father so desperately seeks to control. <laughs> 